Hello, this is Scotty McCoy. I am the author of the Ultimate Friday the 13th Trivia Book, and I am writing another book titled The Ultimate Slasher Movie Encyclopedia, and I am interviewing the cast and crew of the Friday the 13th franchise, and I currently have on the phone with me David Kadams, who played Chuck in Friday the 13th Part 3. Hi, David. How you doing? I'm doing well, Scotty. How are you? I'm doing great. Doing great. I had an interview earlier today. This is a uh, double duty I pulled today, so a little busy. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, the first question I have is not related to Friday the 13th, it was, it's just to describe how did you get your start in acting? Well, I actually was getting my degree in psychology from UCLA, and I had finished my psych requirements, so I decided to take an acting class because I thought it would be easy. And the first time I had to do a scene in the class, I was petrified scared. And some people would run away from that experience. I was challenged by it, so I, I took, uh, I gave myself, uh, once I graduated, I gave myself uh, uh, six months to get a pain gig in acting to, if I were going to really pursue it. And within about three or four months, uh, I got cast in a reoccurring role on General Hospital as a mental patient. And hmm. that's where I got my start. That's awesome. Um, so what was your audition like for Friday the 13th, Part 3? Well, it was multiple, I guess I would say. I, uh, <laughs> uh, they had decided fairly quickly that they liked me, but they weren't sure who they wanted to cast uh, for my girlfriend. So without telling me I was officially cast, they kept asking me to call, they kept calling me back. So I think I went on as many as six auditions wow. <laughs> before they officially told me I was cast. However, they did tell me after the third audition to start growing my beard and uh, and letting my hair grow. So I thought that that was probably a good sign, which it was. Definitely. So um, speaking of your on-screen girlfriend, the majority of your scenes were with Rachel Howard, who played Chili. So how was she on set? How was it like working with her? How was she as a person? Well, she's a very nice person. Uh, this was her first and I think her only role as an actor. So she was not um, uh, experienced, I guess is the way to say it. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, she is... She marches to her own feet, so she, <laughs> but she, everybody got along on the set. That was not an issue, but uh, uh, I, I don't know that uh, um, I would say that she, uh, you know, I want to be positive. She, yeah, I just think she was new to the whole thing and didn't know necessarily what ideas would work as well as other ideas. So. Right, that makes sense. What was your death scene uh, prepped and filmed? How was it? What? How was it prepped and filmed? Like, how do they uh, like do the death scene? How do they create that? Well, you know, anytime someone gets um, punched or assaulted in film, it is the receiver of that pain that fills the, the punch. Right. So, in this scene, I'm going into an electrical outlet, and you know they don't. Uh, they didn't have Richard Brooker actually tell me it's an electrical office. Uh, there was this kind of a springboard, and I, uh, when he, you know, goes at me, I was I sprung off that board into the electrical, <laughs> the fuse box, uh, where uh, they had taped the sides so that I wouldn't cut my hand on uh, anything. Okay. And. Um, and so, but we, everything was, I mean, they used to stunt coordinator. Everything was done very methodically. Uh, the only thing that was funny about that particular scene is they they warned, they said, okay, so you're going to put your hand on this fuse box and sparks are going to fly mm -hmm. out. And but you'll be fine, you'll be safe. Uh, uh, just look the other way away from the sparks and you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And so I said, okay, I trusted them. And then just as we were about to roll, they, <laughs> the director of photography said, Okay, everybody, 20 feet away from the, the, the camera. And I thought, hold on a second. <laughs> I'm supposed to be safe, but everybody else is supposed to be 20 feet away. That's still so safe. Oh, God. To hear the rest of my interview with David Kadams, who played Chuck in Friday the 13th Part 3, 
you can order the Ultimate Slasher Movie Encyclopedia. To find out when the Ultimate Slasher Movie Encyclopedia is for sale, you can like my Facebook fan page at www.facebook.com slash smccoyauthor.